we begin our graduation ceremony, we ask that you remember dear friends near and far who are not here with us today. This year, we lost two great friends of Lasker Early College, Mr. Joseph Lashley, father of graduating senior Joseph Lashley, United States Army veteran, and an active part in our Parent Student Teacher Association and site-based decision-making team, and Ms. Elvira Moreno, mother of Lasker graduates Mark and Michael Soto, who has always who was always a great volunteer for years, even after her son had gone to college. Empty seats on stage are for one of the class, one member of the class of 2014 called to bury a family member, and three who are healing today. We hold Lil Nia, Devin Harper, Kevin Ramos, and Delvin, Delvin Washington close to our hearts, especially today. Please join me in honoring them for the moment of silence. Colors will be presented by the W.H. Adamson High School JROTC unit under the command of Sergeant Casey Jones. Please stand for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos. My name is Eric Markinson, and I'm principal of Lassiter Early College High School. Thank you so much for being here for this momentous occasion in the lives of the 49 young women and men we celebrate today. What we do here today is my greatest pleasure and privilege as principal. Our joy is measured today by the absence of several of our number and our energy is shared with the three young men healing their bodies and spirits. If you see red ribbons, red tags, red socks, they're to honor Delvin Washington. They're his favorite color. Delvin especially needs and has our love today. You will meet our distinguished guests over the course of the afternoon. They represent the partnership between Dallas Independent School District and Dallas County Community College District that enters its 26th year this fall. We are here today because of the hard work of parents, students, and teachers, but more than anyone else, we are here because of the vision of the man whose name we are proud to bear. Dr. Lassiter has said that opportunity favors the prepared mind, and he was prepared to offer the opportunity of a college education and high school completion to hundreds of students. Dr. Lassiter continues as a member of local and national boards and commissions and serves as a minister and teacher. Dr. Lassiter often repeats his father stating that service is the rent you pay for your place here on earth and always try to live in the high rent district. His career has been a model of the way to achieve that goal. On the occasion of his retirement in 2013, Middle College High School was proudly renamed Dr. Wright L. Lassiter, Jr., Early College High School, and we are pleased to have him with us today. To offer greetings and welcome from the class of 2014, I am honored to introduce to you the salutatorian of the class of 2014, Anna Yao. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 
As secretary of the Girls Just Wanna Have Fun Club, Collegiate Decca, and salutatorian of Dr. Rahel Esther, Junior Early College High School of the class of 2014, I extend a welcome and appreciation to families, friends, and administration, and graduates of the class of 2014. And as, um, thank you all for being present today to celebrate the success and historic event of the first graduating class of Lasseter Early College. Now, this year was by far the hardest year I faced in high school. And I promise a majority of my fellow graduates couldn't agree more. With that in mind, I believe each and every one of us has grown stronger physically, mentally, and emotionally. We have learned and acquired greater responsibilities and to be accountable for ourselves by the end of the day. These behavior and characteristics that we have adopted will surely lead us towards success in what I call the big real world. Truth is, we are all just getting started. And luckily for us, we have a two-year head start. With the help and support of family, good friends, and teachers, we could all be graduating again one day with our bachelor's, then our master's, and while we're at it, our PhDs. I say this because I have faith and absolutely no doubt that we will make smart choices and become who we aspire to be. One more thing, my dear graduates. Let us not take life for granted. We should live life and make choices that will allow us to enjoy that life. Let bygones be bygones, and let this day be a joyous, joyous day for us all after all that we have been through. I would like to give special thanks to God and my parents for making it possible for me to receive an American education. In my home country, the Ivory Coast, education is prized and highly expensive on all of them. And here, it is free. Thank you, Mom, for all the sacrifices you have made in order for me to be who and where I am today. And Mom, as long as you keep on supporting me with the help of God, I promise all your sacrifice will never go in vain. Little Mia, my best friend, my sister, although you are not here today, thank you for being my support system away from home and always having my back. And I thank all my classmates for bearing with me too. Devin, Kevin, and Delvin, I hope you are listening. Please be strong and keep on fighting. You have our prayers and our love. I thank all the structure of Lasseter Early College, especially Mr. Yardro, for your assistance, patience, and your service in educating me. And thanks to the faculty, especially Ms. Alexander, Mr. Markinson, Mr. G, Ms. F, and Ms. Valdez for being there for me till the beginning and the end of my high school years. Once again, on behalf of the Dr. Wright L. Lasseter Junior Early College 2014 graduates, I welcome you all to our commencement. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Paul McCarthy, president of Bell Central College. Dr. McCarthy is a professor of English by trade and a longtime college administrator in Washington State, Illinois, and here in Dallas. Dr. McCarthy has nurtured El Centro through a period of remarkable growth and greater and greater prestige in Texas and throughout the United States. Dr. McCarthy has been a wonderful advocate for Lasseter Early College High School and for its students. Offering greetings one last time to us before his well-earned retirement from El Centro College, I give you Dr. Paul McCarthy. Thank you very much, Eric, and I'm here today to uh, welcome all of you and to bring greetings from El Centro College. Uh, I want to begin by assuring you that the thoughts and prayers of all of the El Central family 
are with the students and the family who are not here today. But I most want to congratulate the graduates, the parents, their counselor, the instructors from the early college high school, and El Centro's faculty and administrators. Dr. Fin Howard Finney is here. Uh, you heard Dr. Lester introduced earlier without whom you could not have achieved such a high level of success. Dr. Lester is a visionary, but I can't imagine that he could have thought of what a stunning success this high school would have been when he started it more than 25 years ago. I especially want to congratulate Mr. Markinson, who set a high standard for all of you and who will no doubt be equally successful in his next endeavor. El Centro would be honored, Eric, if you will accept this token of our appreciation for our partnership. And this reads, the recognition award presented to Eric Markinson for your outstanding leadership as principal of the Wright L. Lasseter Jr. Early College High School at El Centro College, 2009 to 2014. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Dr. McCarthy. Uh, uh, we are guests at El Centro College but we are treated as partners in the tremendous work that happens downtown there every day. That is much due to dozens of men and women, instructors, maintenance and custodial workers, security officers, advisors, administrators, who welcome high school students as their own. We never forget that the dream of Laster Early College began with El Centro. I want to acknowledge our liaison who has supported this partnership that will be 26 year old 26 years old next year. He joins us on stage to congratulate our graduates, and that's Mr. Howard Finney, Executive Dean of Business, Public Service, and Information Technology. Thank you, Howard. <laughs> Among a wonderful class of students with countless gifts, one student exemplifies Dallas Independent School District's first core belief that our main purpose is to improve student academic achievement. Bidding farewell to Lasseter Early College High School and the class of 2014 is this year's valedictorian, Linda Portillo. Thanks. 
yourself the support for your patience and for your guidance. Your knowledge has been a foundation, fountain of inspiration. You are a role model, and we will never forget you. I, personally, think that I will never forget Mr. Chatter. If I were to bring my questions to you, Mr. Chatter, I have to be sure that I will not be late to my next class. There are no short answers for you. I do admire how you patiently give detailed examples and explanations that clarify any doubt I have. Your wise words to stay with me like a guiding light. It is impossible to be here at Lazar Early College without developing friendships. They say that laughter is the best medicine. It's cheap and it doesn't require a prescription. Marcus, yeah, just a little. You know how to lift my spirits. Thank you for putting up with me and being there for me through the good and bad times. No matter how bad things get, you have all taught me that we can always find something to laugh about. We are not laughing, we try to thank people. It takes a little extra time to say thank you, but that's okay. That's why we can slow time down and let people know what they mean to us, that we're not taking them for granted. We're lucky to have someone like Marcus, Beatrice, and Lil in our lives. We, the past 2014, did not arrive at this milestone all by ourselves. We always had family and friends who stood by us, encouraging us. Parents, we stand on your shoulders. Thank you, Mom and Dad, and all the parents of our graduating class. We could not have done it without you. You have made sacrifices just for us. Words can't express how thankful we are for everything you have done for us. You have taught us to always remember where we came from so we do not repeat the past. When we leave Lester Early College, you take with us all your wisdom, your love, and your best wishes for us. We are forever transformed by all of you. Thank you all for helping us find our voices, sharing with us your experiences and your perspectives, challenging us along the way. Finally, we leave Lester Early College for confidence walking in the footsteps of a legend. In honoring the legacy of Dr. Lester, we must know and understand the full compass of our past, its trials and tragedies, its values and lessons. As we become aware of the problems in our community, we should define what our roles will be and how we will give back to our community. Our journey at Lester College does not end here. It continues. In closing, I invite all of the graduating seniors to look to the future to determine how you can be part of the solution. My serious congratulations to each and every one of you as you embark on your individual journey. Class 2014, good luck, and remember, graduation is only the beginning. Alexander, and I'm the counselor at Lester Early College High School. I'm pleased to recognize members of the class of 2014 for their exemplary achievements. Would the following students please stand? Roxana Asensia, Joya Caponero, Stephanie Carrera Alvarado, Rayleigh Easterly, Curtis Fagan, Daisy Hernandez, Alexis Hymans, Joseph Lashley, Beatriz Perez, Linda Portillo, Marcus Richardson, Celeste Villa, Francisca Yanez. These students graduate today with Dallas Independent School District's Distinguished Diploma, having completed additional requirements and Texas State Graduation Advanced Measures to earn this exceptional recognition. Kevin Ramos, we know you're watching and we miss you. Kevin applied for and was chosen by Dallas ISD as recipient of the Superintendent Scholarship. Kevin represents Lassiter students' tremendous performance in high school and their high aspirations for continuing education. The Superintendent Scholarship also represents the record sum of scholarships that have been earned by our graduates from colleges and private foundations.
Would the following students please stand? Vicente Argueta, Joya Capranera, Harbor Elizalde, Ashley Oliphant, Beatriz Perez, Linda Portillo, Ashanti Powell, Kevin Ramos, Francesca Yanez. The students standing graduate with high honors from Lasseter Early College, earning an A average for four years of their high school careers. Would Tristan English Beckwith please stand? Tristan had a 4.0 grade point average in her college classes. Thank you, Tristan. Would the following students please stand with Tristan? Joya Caponera, Marcos Chavez, Rayleigh Easterly, Harbor Elizalde, Ashley Oliphant, Carmen Palazzos, Beatrice Perez, Linda Portillo, Kevin Ramos, Emma Sergoviano, Charlie Suarez, Francisca Yanez, and Anna Yao. These students earned a grade point average of at least 3.5 in their college classes. It is a tremendous achievement. I wonder how many adults on the stage or in the audience would be standing if asked this about their GPAs for their first two years of college. Thank you. Would Andrew Tejas and Francisca Yanez please stand? And Kevin Ramos will be sure to celebrate you later this summer. At Lasseter Early College's award ceremony last week, Kevin, Andrew, and Francisca were awarded Lasseter High School's Triple A Award. Over four years, they have grown and blossomed to exemplify our motto, Triple A, academics, attitude, and attendance. They have become role models, and we are exceptionally proud of their service to this community and to Dallas. Thank you, Francisca, Andrew, and Kevin. Class of 2014, if you have earned 30 hours or more of college credit, please stand. This represents a year's worth of college that these students have earned before graduating from high school. Every student in the class of 2014 has earned a le at least a year of college credit. If you earn 42 hours or more, please remain standing. These students have completed the equivalent of the Texas core representing required classes recognized by colleges and universities throughout Texas and beyond. If you participated in El Centro's commencement ceremony, please remain standing. The four, 44 students who are standing also were recognized May 18th at El Centro College's commencement ceremony as having earned or having been within 12 hours of earning their associate's degree. It is the fruit of years of effort on the part of this school, our amazing faculty, and these tremendous students and their families. The class of 2014 earned 3,376 credit hours at El Centro College. Those hours would cost $187,000 at El Centro College. Thanks, Dr. McCarthy and Mr. Finney. <laughs> at the University of Texas at Arlington, those credits would cost $1,055,000. Congratulations, class of 2014.
for all of our talk about college, Lassiter is proudly a Dallas Independent School District institution and would not be here except for Dallas ISD's vision, generosity, and leadership. Representing the school district today are two amazing allies of the students of Dallas. Dr. Ann Spisco, Chief Academic Officer, has brought her unparalleled knowledge of Texas schools to our community and leads with grace, good humor, and superb intelligence. And I am personally grateful for the tremendous coaching and the laser-like focus of students that our Executive Director, Ms. Destiny Edwards, has offered to our school. Would you please both stand and be recognized? To offer congratulations from the Board of Trustees of Dallas Independent School District, I'm pleased to introduce to you Dr. Lou Blackburn. Dr. Blackburn was elected to the Dallas ISD Board in June 2001. He has provided leadership in several positions while on the board and currently serves as the board's first vice president. A native of Fort Worth, Dr. Blackburn moved to Dallas and attended Oliver Wendell Holmes Middle School, graduating from Franklin D. Roosevelt High School. He earned a bachelor's degree in music education, a master's degree in educational administration from Texas A&M University of Commerce, and a doctor of philosophy degree from the University of Texas at Austin. Dr. Blackburn has been a career educator since 1986, beginning with Dallas ISD as an instrumental music teacher before serving as an assistant principal in West Dallas. After service in the Texas Education Agency, he worked as a principal in Goodrich and Duncanville, Texas. He also has served as an adjunct professor of educational administration at various colleges and universities in the area. And he is a great friend of this school. Dr. Black. I can testify that I did not have a 3.0 or a 3.5 or a 4.0. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to get above that 3.0 level, but uh, congratulations. I congratulate you on that because you beat me. Uh, so that means that it won't take long for you to get your PhD. Uh, but uh, good afternoon and to this principal of the uh, last of the college, as I used to always say, to other administrators and faculty and staff and the parents friends and relatives, and congratulations to this 2014 graduating class of Lassiter College. I bring greetings from the Dallas Independent School District Board of Trustees. We are a group of people who are committed and dedicated uh, to the student's success. It is always a privilege and an honor to have this opportunity to address you. Graduates, I promise you I will keep my remarks short because I realize how eager you are to get your hands on your diploma for which you worked so hard. You are eager to join your friends and your families to join in their share of joy for you. You are eager to get started with your plans for your future, and I would dare say that you are eager to join your friends Devin, Kevin, and Delvin, and to help them celebrate their graduation. But you see, in the future, Ashley, I want to know if you want to be a champion. Uh, the path to that destination is really quite simple. The success is in two, not one, not none, but two. For some of you, class of 2014, your journey has just begun. And you see, nobody makes it by themselves, but with the help of others, we can become our best selves. People speak to our hearts, Linda, inspiring us with their words every day. A word of encouragement can go a long way. The right words, Francesca, can engage the brain and even bring an idea to life. They can keep you focused on the positive and free your heart from strife. Maybe it was your mother, Miguel, who said, keep on going, I know you can do it. Or maybe, perhaps, Beatrice, your father said, pick yourself up and dust yourself off when you thought you had blew it. Perhaps it was your teacher, Jessica, who said, failure is not an option. Or maybe, Denise, it was your coach who said, keep your eyes forward and continue on. Your life has only just begun. You thought they were being hard on you because they pushed you past your limit. 
when in fact, Gabriel, they only saw the best in you and wanted you to realize it. They would not accept anything less than your best because definitely they knew that the true key of success. Now, life is a lot like business, Wendy. It takes the help of someone who sees your potential as a true champion. When you excel, it is not because of your sole efforts of your own. It is because of the people who have supported you, Raina, cheering you on. They never lost sight and continue to believe, even when you may want to walk away, quit, or leave. For they knew the real power of two. When you got discouraged, Linda, they were there to see you through. But along your journey towards becoming a champion, Tristan, I want you to get your swag on. And your swag means that you are going to provide service with attitude and gratitude. You see, Erica, when we're talking about service, we're talking about the act of helping someone. I want you to get involved, mentor a young child, reach out to a neighbor in need, perform acts of random kindness. Curtis, I need you to have that attitude, you know, how you feel about something or somebody. Give service with full attention. Serve with vitality and vigor. Serve with poise and pride. And Andrew, I don't want you to forget about that gratitude because I want you to be thankful for service to others. Appreciate the opportunities that you have to serve and maybe satisfaction will come from your service to others. Remember, graduates, I need you to swag. So put your two fingers in the air and salute your two. With the help of others, your dreams will come true. Show them that you care and appreciate everything that they do. Tell your family members thank you and that you love them and you care for them. Tell your friends that you value them and you really will stay in touch. Now graduates, I want you to look around because today is your day. You have made it here not without blood, sweat, and tears. All the hard work has paid off in this end. Now it is time for your next chapter in your life to begin. Pursue your dreams of the power of two. Serve with attitude and gratitude. Graduates, I want you to be happy. Family members, I want you to be happy. Mama, Papa, I want you to be happy. Little sister, little brother, be happy. I want everyone to be happy. Graduates, stand up because you are happy because of these that are here for you. <laughs> Dr. Blackburn and Dr. Spisco. As principal of Dr. Wright L. Lasseter Jr. Early College High School, I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. As Chief Academic Officer of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2014 graduating class of the Dr. Wright L. Lasseter Jr. Early College High School. Folks, I want you to hear this carefully. I am pleased to award these graduating, these diplomas, certifying that these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Linda Portillo. Anna Bernice Yao. Ashley Marie Oliphant. Jordan Daniel Alvarado. 
Uriel Alvarado. Vicente Carlo Argueta. Roxana Asensio. Joya Caponera. Stephanie Carrera Alvarado. Marcos Gonzalez Chavez. Michaela Christian. Rayleigh Deanne Easterly. Harbor Elizalde. Destiny Elmore. Tristan J. English Beckwith. Oscar Faz Jr. Curtis Fagans. Gabriel Figueroa. Jessica Esmeralda Garay. Edgar Alejandro Gonzalez. Lisa Andrea Guerrero. Daisy Marlene Hernandez. Wendy Priscilla Hernandez. Jocelyn Jaimes. Alexis Jaimes Aguirre. Joseph and Alao Lashley. Janet Ivan Mata. Brenda Mejia. <laughs> Tiffany Justice Moore. Miguel Angel Najera. Carmen Angelica Palacios. Adrián Peña. Beatriz Perez. Denise Perez Faz. Ashanti D. Powell. Marcus Deshaun Richardson, Jr. Jose Salvierna. Cesar Sanchez, Jr. Emma Cecilia Segoviano. Charlie Suarez. Andrew Guadalupe Telles. Reina Venegas. Celeste Villa. Erika Vielpando. Francisca Yanez.
Little Mia. Kevin Anthony Mananang Ramos. And Delvin D. Washington. Please be seated. As our valedictorian Linda Portillo stated, there was a disconnect between many adults' expectations of the class of 2014 and these students' tremendous performance. Members of the class of 2014 admit they were not the easiest class. <laughs> but I do want to apologize this one last time for my own prejudice regarding this class's potential. Class of 2014, let that be a really good reminder to you forever that never, never should you doubt your potential, no matter what some misguided principal or professor or friend or boss might tell you. Back up your confidence with persistence and hard work, of course. During the last 48 hours, you have proven yourselves loving and hope-filled, real gifts to Devin, Kevin, and Delvin. I could not be more happy nor more proud that the first graduating class of Dr. Rydell Lasseter, Jr., Early College High School at El Centro College is the most accomplished class in this school's history, the class of 2014. Members of the class of 2014, please rise and move your tassels to the left side of your caps. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the 2014 graduates of Dr. Rydell Lassiter, Jr., Early College High School. Please be seated. You guys stand. <laughs> you guys get to stand. I ask you all to please to remain seated until the recessional is completed. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Last Year Early College, thank you for celebrating this occasion with us, and many thanks to our faithful pianist, Mr. William Mitchell.